All right, starting off. Material selling price increase to make looting more fun. I assume they're going to increase like compound sheets and sh copper wire and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions during the, the storm while we go over the past notes, please, please, please ask and let me know. Anything we'll talk about. Hard drive price increase. That's kind of meh. In-game activities are more rewarding due to increased selling prices. I don't think that that's needed. Because the in-game like in activities, like the quests and the jobs, they pay so, so, so well. I don't think that's good, Plague. They they already pay so well. Why would they make it even more? Unless you're talking about laser drill, because I guess laser drill is complete end game. Delivery and dead drop rewards increased. That's fine, because there's some dead drop quests that are actually like just way too way too much. Maybe drills, possibly. Crafting recipes for armored backpack and helmets have been adjusted. That's good, because some of the helmets are actually insane to craft. Like, I think the purple one's 10 radio equipment. Like, that's 70 pounds of, like, just junk. You know what I mean? That's good. Flashlight ray caching got optimized. The only time I ever use a flashlight inside of admin, so it's, that's fine. Again, we are doing, like, a sort, sort of like a Q&A patch note review for, for a YouTube video. So if you guys got any questions, feel free to let me know. I spent 30k on days on second day beta doing the swamp quest. Cause, yeah, exactly. So that that one's definitely good because like some of the dead drops are just a pain. Purple armor is so easy. Well, you also got to remain like purple armor is kind of like it's mad expensive to repair. So I think that's like meant to like try to not be able to rush in game and try to like prolong the mid game. If that makes sense. Lighting out rebalance. That's good. There's definitely some 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 lighting issues in certain places. Additional audio improvements. Always always banging. Always banging. Now moving on to the gun nerfs slash buffs. So the only three guns that are getting nerfed, it looked like, is the bolt, which is getting a max size haft, which is, in my opinion, very good because the bolt is still very, very, very strong, especially in squads. So cutting the mag in half, which should hopefully reduce the bolt spam. Decent two by four? No. They are nerfing the scrapper. Let me go on DC real quick. The scrapper. Magazine size from 18 to 17. I don't have that many inst instances where one bullet really matters. So that's good. The scrapper for 6k is very, very, very strong. And the other gun that got nerfed is obviously the Gorgon. Which most definitely needed it if you guys play this game. You know. Shots per burst reduced from 15 to 12. That's very, very strong. Ammo per shot increased from 0.4 to 0.5. Meh. And mag size reduced by 6. So hopefully, this should not be able to one-tap purple or one-burst purple. We'll have to wait and see for the patch, but I don't think I'll be able to one-tap purple or one-burst, rather. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough either. I think it needs a better, a, a bigger nerf. In my opinion, all they have to do to fix this gun is make the hip fire inaccurate, or not 100% inaccurate. 100% accurate. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there, worm. One of these effects taking place uh, in like eight hours, eight and a half hours, four Eastern. Yeah, like the Gorgon hip fire can literally outgun a, a bolt. Like, the hip fire is, like, 98% accurate. It's insane. So, from this patch, the Gorgon, the Scrapper, and the Bolt are the only three guns that are getting a nerf. So, the, the white AR. Refire time reduced from 0.13 to 0.11. And the damage got one plus. Plus one damage. Did I think the white AR needs a nerf? Not really. Or a buff, rather. Not really, but... I feel like a lot of people use a PDW over this gun, so that should be fine. This. I do not think the Manicore needs a, needs a buff at all. And even, like, moderately modded, the Manicore is insane. Two more damage on it is going to be... This will turn into the meta, in my opinion, the Manicore. The Lacerator, base damage increased from 25 to 27. I think this gun will still be utterly useless. It's just, 
it's just not viable with the bolt still doing half half your health to blue. The last rate is just not viable. Basic Lancer, base damage to creature 11 to 13, same as the Mana Core. The Phase Lancer seems okay, but when I use it, it's terrible. So this buff seems fine to me. Yeah, the Mana Core would be an actual problem. <laughs> Mailstorm base damage given 7 to 8. Shotguns are really only a problem inside buildings like Starport Warehouse, Starport Admin. Potentially the jungle. Just, you know, inside places, so... That buff's kind of whatever. KBR long shot. Base damage gives 35 to 39. I think the long shot will be very, 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 very strong. I was using it a couple days ago, and it was still strong. Like, three tap in purple. So, the, 30, the 39, I think this will be very strong. Long shot busted. You killed me in two shots with it? Yeah, exactly. I don't think it needed a buff. Even a four damage buff. And it's kind of strong. Advocate base damage keeps from 8 to 10. This was very, very, very much needed. I think it should be closer to like 12. Like on par with the Amanda Core. This gun's almost 80k. And it is arguably the worst gun in the game. Minus the Lacerator. Blachette. Damage increase from 11 to 12. That's fine. Especially with the recoil that the Blachette has now. That buff is fine. We already talked about the Gorgon. I still think it need to be nerfed harder. The core. This. Core from 12 to 15 is insane. This gun full auto modded and modded has zero recoil. So this, the, I think the core is going to be insane. I will be surprised if this does if this doesn't get nerfed in the next patch. The hammer increased from 26 to 31. That's fine. I used a hammer yesterday, and without a sight on it, the hammer just blows. And you can't put a sight on it. The hammer blows. The, the iron sights just feel too clunky. Another very, 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 very weird buff, in my opinion. It's the Brute. They gave the Brute two more damage. I don't think they need to, they need to buff the Brute. I don't think they need to buff the Brute. It's a laser beam. Fastest shooting gun in the game. I do because of armor. He just shreds armor though. In the Basilisk. Base damage creep 34 to 60. The biggest buff in this patch. I used this once. And it, it, it just kind of feels like another like long shot. It's kind of whatever. It's a cool looking gun. But with 40 damage now. It might be viable. What it might the be fuck viable. is that? Carnival thing for three months. I appreciate it. Brute is even better now. The Brute is even better. <laughs> the Brute is going to be... The Brute and the Core are going to be very, 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 very strong. And then another huge patch. Damage amplicate, amplification and reduction of shields have been adjusted to make shields feel more meaningful. This is strong. Because especially in PvP, shields just feel terrible. They feel bad. They just don't feel like they do enough against players. For example, Great Weapon versus Purple Armor damage gets reduced by 43%. Before this patch, it was 34. So hopefully this makes armor more meaningful and you can't, like, you won't get melted so fast. Hopefully, hopefully that'll make Purple Armor feel like it's actually Purple Armor. And then there's a few bug fixes. UI market tutorial request has been fixed. I didn't notice any, but I also completed the quest like two weeks ago. Additional adjustments to level streaming. This will increase the download size. 15 gigs more should boost the performance. I mean, if anything that increases performance is always good. The player report we know the battle log has been fixed now. Fills needed data automatically. That's good because there's definitely a, a small cheater problem in this game for sure right now. Finally, to fix some smaller issue with jobs and campaigns. This is good, because I have a lot of people in chat who tell me that they have bug missions and bug jobs and don't know how to fix them. And I don't know what to say, because I, 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 it happened to me once, but it fixed itself like a day and a half later. But I don't know what to say. So hopefully that this uh, patch will fix all that. 
But overall, it looks like a very, very good patch, and overall, it should make PvP feel a little better, a little more meaningful. The core and the brute got huge buffs, so I'm really be very, very intrigued to see how those are. Happy to see the Gorgon nerf, obviously. The mana core nerf, I'm kind of scared about. And the long shot. I'll be interested to try out the long shot too with 39 damage. Oh, no niche in the false data. Yeah, data in the battle lock is not showing me sleeping data. Right, a few rays ago, I died to a guy on a flechette. Seven bullets for like 107. And the battle or the, the battle log said it hit me for like 182. So you cannot trust a battle log. Manticore better be slapping. Yeah, the Manticore has, the Manticore has like negative recoil. So a two damage buff is going to be insane to that gun. But overall, I'm glad to see they're pushing out patches. Hopefully, these patches make PvP more meaningful, and hopefully, it feels more like uh, more like closed beta one. So we'll see how it goes.